Right, so I'm going to order our Pacific Grove Unified School District Board of Education special meeting today, Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. As we begin this meeting, it's important to pay respect to and acknowledge that we are on the traditional land of the Ohlone, Kostanoan, and Esalen people, and additionally pay respect to elders both past and present. With that, can we get a roll call, please? President Swanson? Here. Kirk McNary? Here. Dr. Hazen? Here. Trustee Otmar? Here. Thank you. We've got four out of five trustees here. With that, we have a quorum and we will continue with our special meeting. Next up is adoption of the agenda. Our agenda tonight is pretty short because the majority of the meeting is dedicated to meeting and greeting Dr. Linda Adamson. So with that, um, board members, do you have any comments on the agenda? And if you do, you're welcome to come up here or go to the, um, the microphone on the stand and let us know if you have any concerns. Laura, do you have any? No, yeah. Laura, shake your head now. Clerk of Mary, should I? Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, and so with that, do we have any public comment on the adoption of the agenda? And I will ask Lewis, if there's anyone, is there anyone online in general, Lewis? How many do we have online? 14. 14 online. And do any of them have their digital hand up? No? Nope. Okay. If anyone here in person would like to make their way up to the podium, and this is to make a comment specifically on adoption of the agenda so that we can move forward with the meeting tonight, um, please make your way up to the microphone on the stand. Just give a quick moment. Okay, thank you all. I'm closing public comment now. And with that, I just need a motion to adopt the agenda. I'll move to adopt the agenda. Awesome. Thank you. Motion made by Trustee Otmar to adopt the agenda, seconded by Dr. Hazen. And with that, Mandy, can have a majority vote, please. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Motion carries unanimously. Next up is our information discussion portion of the meeting. Briefly, very briefly, you're gonna hear from the board um, a minimal amount tonight because like I said, we're here to meet and greet Dr. Adamson. Um, I will just briefly introduce our trustees, if you wouldn't mind coming up, um, all of you, and I'll pass the mic so that you all can um, introduce yourselves if you come on up. Hi, my name is Laura Otmar. My name is Elliot Hazen. And I'm Jennifer McLaren. Thank you all so much. I'll continue on with the rest of my comments and then we'll bring them to up. What's up? Okay. Thank you all so much. You're welcome to either stay up here or sit down. Okay. Thank you for leaving me up here. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> all right, so very briefly, so Dr. Adamson today, earlier today, toured Pacific Grove Unified School District sites and visited and, and met with a variety of our staff members and hopefully saw some students too. Um, and so I do want to say a variety of thank yous. And my first is a thank you to staff for running our schools, keeping our students safe, teaching them, and welcoming Dr. Adams and today and taking that time. I want to thank the community for their input and their well wishes and their honest feedback throughout this process. This process started several months ago, and there were many steps to it. And we did our best to keep everyone um, informed on the superintendent search part of our website. Um, and even so, we still had um, just incredible feedback from our community, staying involved, just um, reaching out to a variety of board members and staff members. So thank you. And thank you all community members who are here tonight making the time yet again in your schedules being invested in this. Um, thank you to the board because we're all volunteers and we have spent a lot of time um, and, and care into this search. Um, we took, for example, an entire day to conduct interviews and collaborate as a team. So I just want to say thank you all for that. Um, thank you to Mandy Ackerman, who's here tonight. Raise your hand. 
<laughs> She's here in the front row. Um, she coordinates all of our meetings, our board meetings, the location, documentation, and she also coordinated the refreshments, which I want to point out over here. I encourage you all to enjoy because the worst part is if you don't enjoy them, then they all have to get taken back out. So um, please enjoy them. <laughs> or we'll eat them later. Um, and these thank yous are in no particular order, I will say. So my next thank you is actually to Dr. Portas. Um, he's not here tonight. He was our superintendent who gave 16 years to this district. Um, so I really wanted to um, just mention his name and say thank you. Next is a thank you to Lou Lozano, who is here somewhere. There he is. Um, for his patience and wisdom throughout this process. He's been so helpful. And he's even here tonight um, as a community member because he wanted to just continue to be part of the process. So thank you so much, Lou. You've been invaluable to us. Uh, I thank you to Josh Jorn. Josh has operated as the interim superintendent as well as the assistant superintendent of finance and business for several months now. So he has shouldered the two um, jobs in our district. If you were looking at the org chart of our district, the two at the very top of that org chart have been on his shoulders. Um, so a big thank you to Josh and his patience and his um, skill, wisdom for all of his work. Thank you to Louis uh, Algazi, hello, and your team. We saw Manuel earlier from Robert Down for the tech tonight. Um, it was really important to maximize access for our community when we did this meeting. So this meeting is being um, zoomed out for anyone who is not able to make it here physically tonight. Um, that's important to the board and that's important for the district. And um, it, was, it was extra effort, so we really appreciate that. A uh, quick thank you to Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels in Monterey Peninsula let us rent their conference room. If anyone needs conference rooms to rent, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, there was a bay of windows right on the golf course, so it kind of made anyone who was interviewing with us see kind of the beauty of Pacific Grove in a very calm, serene way. They also fed us all day and made sure to bake <laughs> fresh cookies for us at 3 o'clock when you all kind of get that tired slump when you're doing work all day, they brought fresh cookies in for us. So there's so much love and special um, people in this community that we want to thank. Thank you to Leadership Associates. That's the um, firm that we partnered with who are experts in recruiting and vetting um, superintendents and superintendent candidates, I should say. Um, so they were uh, so detailed um, in their search, it was clear they it was a labor intensive process for them and a process they're very passionate about. And we're so um, excited for the superintendent finalists that came from that search. And oh, lastly, but not leastly, um, I'd like to thank the members of the press because you all helped us get the word out about this event. Thank you. Good kids, be over over there. Um, taking your time this evening to come and, um, and help us get even further word out. So thank you so much to the press. Yes, thank you. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to briefly read. I have like six sentences I'm going to read for Adamson, and then I'm going to give the mic over. And just a, a brief overview of the meeting. After Dr. Adamson speaks tonight, we're going to do something that we don't typically do at the board meeting. We're going to pause the board meeting, and that's going to allow for us to go and eat our snacks, but most importantly, visit with Dr. Adamson. So you're all welcome tonight, and we all hope that tonight you find your way to Dr. Adamson so you can speak with her one-on-one -on -one or in a small group, ask her any questions you want to get to know her. Um, and at that point, then we'll reconvene the regular meeting, open it back up um, to our folks on Zoom, and then we will adjourn. So uh, with that, the Board of Trustees of Pacific Grove Unified School District is pleased to announce that Dr. Linda Adamson has been unanimously selected to be the finalist for the position of superintendent. With a career spanning over 28 years in education in both the private and public school systems, Dr. Adamson has served in a variety of positions, including teacher, principal, and director. She served the Placencia Yorba Linda Unified School District for 11 years, including the last three as the Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services, where she focused her efforts on elevating expectations and removing barriers to learning 
all as a means to increase outcomes for all students. She's a firm believer in the important role of communication and how much it plays in building trusting relationships and a school culture of belonging in which all students can thrive. With that, Dr. Adamson, I'd love to pass it over to you. Thank you so much for that warm welcome and introduction, President Swanson. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to be here with you this evening. Uh, what a wonderful chance for me to get to know all of you a little bit more this evening. I want to start by thanking the board. I thoroughly enjoy getting to know each of you through the interview process, which I want to add was a very thorough but a really good progress process. You spoke about it just briefly earlier, and I was grateful for it. I am truly looking forward though, to getting to know you better in the coming weeks and the coming months. I am excited about what we are going to accomplish together as a team. I am excited about coming together in partnership, identifying our priorities, and ultimately what we are going to do for the students of this incredible district. And that I am excited about. I'm ready, I'm eager to begin. So thank you again. I would like to, before I speak, just do a few words of thanks for today. I want to absolutely thank Josh Jordan. He wasn't able to be here this evening. He had a prior engagement. He sacrificed his whole day today, pretty much, to walk me around our various sites and introduce me to the incredible people who I'm learning to make up this incredible district. I loved spending the day with him. I'm really looking forward to working with him, and I'm so grateful is going to be by my side uh, as we make this transition together. I also want to thank Mandy. I know she's probably going to say, no, don't draw attention to me, but Mandy, thank you for helping to, today run so smoothly. Uh, thank you for making me feel so welcome already, uh, and just for your generosity of time as well. I'm looking forward to working with you. And I'd like to also thank my husband, Gavin, who is here in the audience tonight. Uh, for your incredible support and encouragement along the way. I'm really grateful. Well, it was a busy and a full day today. I got to visit all of our school sites. I got to meet with our district office staff, and I loved every minute of it. My feet are maybe a little bit sore, but that's okay. I don't feel the pain because it was food for my soul today. This is what I thrive on. I There was a theme that came through as I got to meet with the people and uh, visit our school sites. Uh, and that theme was how passionate everyone is about the work that they do here. Once this announcement went out and became public, I immediately had people reaching out to me talking about the great people that make up the District of Pacific Road Unified School District. And I finally got to see that and confirm it for myself today. I love the fact that these people came up to talk to me. They, they were excited and wanted to share the great things and the accomplishments uh, that, uh, that have already taken place. Uh, we, I heard a little bit about some of the challenges that we're facing as well in the coming months. But what I loved about how those challenges were shared with me was that it was with a level of optimism and hopefulness about what we will accomplish together. So I'm excited about that. I want to thank, I was able to meet with all of our district office staff. Uh, I love being to get a sense of all of the various roles they play. Uh, and ultimately, our role at the district office, right, it's about supporting our schools. And so I'm uh, getting a sense of the collaboration that already exists. I am so excited about working alongside them, our administrators and our support staff. Uh, we are there for our students, and that was very clear that that's a priority. Thank you for making me feel so welcome and for your generosity of time today. Uh, it's also very clear we have a strong leadership team, and I'm really excited about getting to work alongside all of you. I want to thank our principals of all of the school sites we visited today. Uh, I love getting to meet with them and learn a little bit more about them. There's something about a principal role when they speak about the pride uh, that they have for the accomplishments that they've had uh, over the past few years and months. And I heard that today. I, I'm looking forward to working with each of them. And again, I just want to thank them for their time today. I want to thank our teachers and our support staff. I'd love to meet with many of them today. So many of them have stopped and introduced themselves as we can walk down the hallways. Uh, and I'm grateful for them for making me feel so welcome. 
Uh, but I'm also incredibly grateful for what I was able to see today as a strong collaboration. And what I can already see is the priority on the work that all of our staff do in being sure there for our students to help them succeed. And then our students, I got to meet many of them. Uh, that was a joy. I mean, that's my life, right? That's why I do this work, that's why we do this work. So to actually see them engaging and excited about the learning, I'm looking forward to meeting them and getting to know them over the next few weeks and months and years. Uh, but truly to see them in the classrooms today, that was just wonderful for me. And I thank them for their enthusiasm and, and uh, level of welcomeness that they were able to give me. And I think that's it. We've got students, we've got staff, and we've got our, our principals. And when I say principals, I want to make sure I mention our assistant principals. Because uh, in many cases, you know, they took over as a principal had to step away to you know, deal with something. Uh, so again, to our assistant principals too, what a team that you all are and what you make. So as we get to know each other, you're going to hear me talking a lot about connection and belonging. And the reason for that is it's something that I firmly believe in. I believe that no significant learning can occur without first the establishment of a significant relationship. And so that's why in my first few months in this role, you will see me prioritizing and taking time to meet with all of you. I call it listen and learn tours and meetings, so there'll be a lot of listening taking place. There will be time I'm saving to establish, to start building trust and authentic and meaningful relationships with each of you. And when I say you, I'm talking about our board members, our students, they are a critical part of everything we do here, their voice is critical. I'll be meeting with our teachers, our support staff, our administrators, with parents and family members, and with our community members, all to establish how we can uh, create this partnership and this level of trust in working together for support of our students. When I talk about connection and belonging, uh, that really truly, I believe, comes down to the creation of a culture, a culture at the school sites, a culture at the district office level, culture within the community where our students can thrive. I truly believe we all want the same thing for our students. We want them to be happy, we want them to succeed, and we ultimately want them to be excited about coming to school every day, each and every day. And I believe that that starts with the creation of a culture at our school sites, within the district, across our community, where students feel that they belong that they can be engaged in the learning that they're doing, that they can feel a connection to their peers, but more importantly, a connection to the adults at their school sites who they know care for them, who look out for them, and that they can turn to when they're struggling. What excites me is, as I visited schools today, I saw that, and I see that we share that as a priority. And when we do that well, when we build that culture, that partnership, for our students, but also amongst all the adults, all of us who are there to support our students. My role as superintendent coming in will be to ensure that I'm building that culture for everyone, that we have our teachers, support staff and administrators, parents, our family members, our community members who all feel that same sense of belonging and connection. Because as a partnership, we need to work together in support of our students. And when we do that well, our students succeed and our students will thrive. I think of the word unity when I think of all of the work that we do together. So it's a powerful concept. And there's a poem called Unity that I've actually been sharing with uh, the staff and parents that I've worked with over the years since I first became a principal many years ago. I love the poem because it speaks to the concept of the important role that the school and the home play in the success of our students. So it's that concept of our um, teachers, support staff, and administrators working closely together in partnership with our families, our parents, and the community who all play a vital role in the work that we do. So I'm not going to share the whole poem with you, but I would like to share the last two stanzas, which I truly believe uh, capture the essence of the poem. And my glasses for this, so bear with me. And when at last their work was done, they were proud of what they had wrought. For the things they molded into the child could neither be sold nor bought. And each agreed they would have failed if each had worked alone. For behind the parent 
to the school, and behind the teacher, the home. It was Bishop Desmond Tutu, who in the Book of Joy, referred to the term Ubuntu. He uses it to describe humanity. He uses it to talk about the importance of togetherness and connection. He reminds us how we are better when we are together and connected. But he also uses it to talk about trust in relationships. He actually refers to the sense of trust that it can bring whole nations together, people together. And I share that with you tonight because I'm so excited about starting to build that trust and those relationships with all of you, starting with our board, our students, our teachers, our support staff, our administrators, our parents, our family members, and our community members. We all play a vital role in the work that we do. And if we do that well, our students will thrive. So I'm excited about coming alongside all of you to accomplish the great things I know we can for our students to continue to nurture that culture that I know already exists of connection and belonging. I'm excited about becoming a member of this vibrant community and a member of the work we do here. But ultimately, I'm most excited about becoming a member of the PG family. So again, I thank you for this opportunity. I'm looking forward to meeting with many of you after this. Uh, but ultimately, I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. We have so much to look forward to. We're going to do great things together. Uh, and so, yes, I'm ready to begin. And again, I want to thank the board for just your time and this opportunity to get to meet with everyone today. At this time, I'm going to turn the control back to you, Ms. Swanson. Thank you, thank you so much. And so that concludes information item A on our agenda. Next up is item E, which is the reception. And so again, that's the time for us all. Trustee Brian Swanson, Yay. please come up here. We introduced all the trustees um, and I didn't see you and I'm so sorry. So please come up and I will, and I will introduce. By the way, I don't think I introduced myself. I am Carolyn Swanson, I'm the president of the school board. Welcome. <laughs> He's not used to be, well, I am used to being in front of the mic. I'm used to putting other people in front of the mic, too. But anyway, I am sorry I was late. I was a little confused about uh, what we were doing today and who all was supposed to be here. So um, I try to be a little better dressed than this, but uh, I do have pants on, which uh, we won't go into that. Anyway, welcome, everybody. And yeah, we don't want to go into that. So. Thank you, Trustee Swanson. We are not related, by the way, we just have the same name. Just a coincidence. Um, so with that, um, we are going to pause the board meeting. Um, and this is going to provide the community the opportunity to meet with Dr. Linda. I'm calling you Dr. Linda. I don't know if that's OK with you. <laughs> I love it. I love OK, it. Dr. Linda Adamson. <laughs> um, and so this is your time to try to make your way over. We're going to probably stay until everyone gets a chance to um, chat with Dr. Adamson. And uh, so with that, we were going to put the, um, we have a little disclaimer on for the Zoom folks at home that says, welcome, and we pause the board meeting, we'll be back shortly. And so with that, we're all here in person. Um, let's get it, get to know Dr. Adamson. Thank you. Everyone, I um, made an attempt to, see all the folks here, make sure that they had a chance to speak with Linda, Dr. Adamson, at least one-on-one. -on -one. And so if anyone is here and still hasn't had a chance to talk to Linda, will you raise your hand? Because I want to make sure everyone has had a chance. You've spoken with her, Derek? No, I have not. Oh, okay, then we're going to wait a couple minutes. <laughs> he had to talk to me. He was talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay with, with that? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. You'll speak later? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so with that, the board will reconvene uh, right now to receive any public comments. So if there's any member of the public who remains here who would like to make their way up to this microphone here on the uh, stand and give a public comment. So the short. And if there's anyone online who would like to give a public comment, we welcome you to raise your digital hand and we will get to you in just a moment.
You can stand next to me if you wish. Stand up here? Sure. You can have it for you. Okay. You get three minutes. <laughs> Starting now. Uh, so I just want to give the likely new superintendent her first assignment from a community member. Although I guess she could have gotten others. But um, this is these are things that are really obvious to me, and I wonder why they're not in place already. Um, they're obvious goods, let's put it that way. So I'll read my statement so that I don't ramble too long. So I want to advocate for two things. Joint meetings between the city council and the school board and student representatives participating on council's board committees and task forces. In my experience when discussing issues that have solutions requiring joint city school district discussions and problem solving in order to move forward with what is best for everyone, I get responses indicating that there is no functioning public forum or bridge to continue discussions. I've often been left <clears throat> with thinking that I need to be a go-between the city and the school district if I want to get the problem solved. I've tried with much less effectiveness than I hoped for. If there were quarterly meetings between the city council and the school board, it would be helpful to the community as a whole. Taking care of one's turf or department is only a part of good community leadership. I know if environmental and recreational issues that could use joint discussion, and tomorrow night's board meeting regarding making the community, the school community, more of a place where belonging, dignity, justice, and joy are a shared experience is very much what the city is trying to do with the DEI task force. With the same goals, working together makes sense. Also, it would be wonderful to go to council and district meetings, as well as committee meetings, and see student representatives having a voice, learning about how local democratic institutions function. And it seems to me like that would sync beautifully with any kind of civics education that we'd like to see the students have. So those are my two suggestions. And I'm going to actually pass my notes to the likely new superintendent. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Minister. Oh, Thank pleasure. you, Yes, thanks for making the work. Is there anyone else, a member of the public, who would like to speak? It looks like we have a digital hand up. Perkins. Perkins? Lewis will unmute you and we will gladly listen to your comments. Hello. Um, I just was unable to come to the meeting today, but I wanted to welcome um, Dr. Adamson to our school district, a place we hold near and dear to our hearts. And I'm a first grade teacher at Robert Downs School. And I saw you from afar today. And I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you in person. But I wanted to welcome to you to our community and to our running community. And I hope to see you out running on the trail. I'll be out there tomorrow very, very early in the dark. So welcome to Pacific Grove. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Bergen. <clears throat> Is there Anyone else? I'm just going to give a moment for anyone online to raise their digital hand. While we do that, I'm just going to let everyone know that in the course of the next week, the board will be working on the employment agreement with Dr. Adamson. And barring any unforeseen circumstances, the contract will come forward at a regular board meeting agenda within the next few weeks, if not sooner. Who is anyone else holding a digital hand? Okay, and anyone here in person would like to come up and say anything, you're very, very welcome and warmly invited to do so. My child is raising your hand. <laughs> I love you too. Um, okay, so uh, with that, actually, I don't have my gavel here today, but um, Mandy, I'm going to look at you. Is there anything else that we need to do for business? Okay. 
Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for spending your evening tonight. Thank you so much.